Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and without any difficulties. But be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. As we've got the leader's jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. But the main opponent today is the wind. Normally, we'd put a cross through this stage. But with the wind, the outcome is unclear. It's up to us to seize the opportunity for a good result. Have a good stage. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this third week of the Tour de France. As so often when a stage follows the coastline, the wind will be on everybody's mind with a question of whether or not there will be borges. We all remember the border initiated by Peter Sagan and Chris Froome in 2016 on a stage that much resembles that of today. Guys, you have to watch out for the wind today. You'll know pretty soon if they'll be bought in. I'll keep you posted. Have a good stage. There's plenty of movement. New attack. You've got to ride, guys, if you want a chance of a sprint victory. will not change any more today. The leader is ahead by enough points. He's got his teammates riding because he no doubt finds that the breakaway is too big. If you're feeling strong, attack to create a smaller group. The break still isn't done. They're stepping on the pedal at the front of the peloton. Young French rider Kevin Vauclin is a puncher who we should regularly see at the top of the classifications in the coming years. because you're not making enough effort. They'll no doubt try and drop you. The riders up front are widening the gap, but they're not dangerous. The peloton is starting to ride behind you. It looks like he doesn't want yet another rider at the head of the race.
under-23 world champion in 2019 on the Harrogate circuit, Samuele Battistella embodies the future of Italian cycling. This good puncher isn't too bad a ride on the flat. He's also got a significant turn of speed. If you don't take more relays, you will disrupt the breakaway, and you'll have no chance of going all the way. Guys, after Bezier, it will be exposed. The wind isn't very strong, but stay awake and stay up front. Looks like you've got an exit slip from the peloton. It's riding quietly. He's got his teammates riding because he no doubt finds that the breakaway is too big. If you're feeling strong, attack to create a smaller group. Since his transfer to Jumbo in 2022, Christophe Laporte has really made great strides. All-round teammate, he's able to finish the job and win major races such as Ghent Wevelgem, stages on the Dauphiné, Paris Nice, and the Tour, as well as to take the 2023 European Champion title. He's one of the outsiders in sprint finishes. It looks as if teams are trying to create an echelon. Watch out for Borges. Go, go, go. 
Lâche rien, allez The mountains really aren't his thing. He's more of a puncher ruler with a good finish, if in a small group. He's got his teammates riding because he no doubt finds that the breakaway is too big. If you're feeling strong, attack to create a smaller group. Very comfortable on the hilly routes with steep inclines, Dylan Toynch is one of the riders to be reckoned with in the Ardennes Classics. Previous holder of the World Hour record, it's not surprising to see that Victor Campenard's list of achievements is almost exclusively made up of individual time trials. Former under-23 world champion, the Kazakh Alexei Lutsenko is a solid puncher. He's a rider who can put in a long day's ride. He has no real strengths or weaknesses, except the mountains. He's got his 
teammates riding because he no doubt finds that the breakaway is too big. If you're feeling strong, attack to create a smaller group. He's able to get a result alone or by taking the sprint in a small breakaway group. To sum up, a very versatile rider. Winner of a stage on Paris Nice after a nail biting finish, Mathieu Bougaudot is now a rider to be closely watched at the end of a race. Your breakaway companions look like they want to up the pace. He's a puncher, at home on hilly terrain. You're the best placed on the overall standings in the breakaway. The gap is increasing. We don't need to ride for now. There's nobody dangerous for us in the breakaway. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax.
continue comme ça At the front, you're the best placed for the green jersey. The best placed rider in the climber standing amongst the breakaway. The only classified climb of the day is in five kilometers. It is ranked as fourth category. Two kilometers from the top. Watch out for him. He's the best puncher in the breakaway. over the last climb.
The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. He's the best placed on the overall standings in the breakaway. He's the best place for the green jersey. They're going to have to ride hard to read in the breakaway. With this lead, they can start to believe it.
teammates have positioned themselves at the head of the peloton. They will no doubt manage the gap so as to finish in a sprint. Okay, I'll protect him. The breakaway is losing ground. He's got his team riding to set up a sprint finish. This is not the time to hang around at the back of the peloton. The riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. He's the best placed on the overall standings in the breakaway. The race leaders are approaching the intermediate sprint.
head of the race is three kilometers from the intermediate sprint. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. again be open to the wind and I get the impression that it's picking up stay well positioned At the front, he's the best placed for the green jersey. Courage, on continue. Allez les gars, continuez comme ça Teams are again setting themselves up for borges. The closing stretch will be without let up for the riders.
At the front, he's the best place for the green jersey. Looks like the breakaway still has some gas left. It's still able to widen the gap. The breakaway is 20 kilometers from the curtain to the stage. Given their lead, they can seriously begin thinking about victory. Only 15 kilometers left for the lead riders. being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. Allez les gars, 
Allez, gars, allez, gars, allez, 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 He's in trouble. It's not sure that he'll be there for the sprint. Ladies and gentlemen, applaud him loudly. Here is the winner of the Cuisson Name Stage, Mathieu Burgodeau. He found a way to master his rivals in order to raise his arms in victory. Congratulations to him. He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honours. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Yellow Vingador. It's a moment that he should not forget and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once more. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. Jasper Philipsen. It's a moment that he should not forget and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once he's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Laura Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future. But for now, he can relish the moment. He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honours. Here's the white jersey of this Tour de France. Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future. But for now, he can relish the moment. Well...